Hello everybody, guest designer Katie Reed here and I am going to show you today how to create this necklace here with wire work, chips and some beautiful citrine. So if you want to see how to create this look then please keep on watching. So to start I'm going to start at the top end of our necklace with these fantastic slabs of citrine that we've got here and then our mystic coated quartz and the clear um, faceted quartz as well and we are going to rosary link these to connect with the rest of the necklace so if I just move these onto this side now we've got our two slabs here and then I'm going to take two mystic um, quartz for each each slab move those out of the way and two of our clear quartz for each slab. We are going to use the 0.6 wire in the kit. Just there we've got the 0.6 wire and we're going to use this to do our rosary linking. So I'm literally just going to take off probably a little bit too much but having too much is better than not having enough of our wire and I'm going to work on on this piece first. So I've cut down my wire and I'm going to take my six step bell making pliers and I'm using the smallest mandrel just on here and I'm going to pop that in and create a right angle like so. Then I'm going to pop in with my chain nose pliers, just hold the loop that we've just created and wrap around four times. I'm coming with our flush cutters and just chop that down, trim that off, and we'll tidy that. Scratch that all together, just to tidy that all together. So, what you're going to do next is just literally just pull our loop back up like so. So now we have got our wrapped loop. Now we're going to feed on one of the clear quartzes. of the mystic coated faceted quartz and our slab of citrine and then do the same again so we're going to pop that onto there so we're now building up our connector bead and then pop on the last like so then I'm going to pop in with my bell making pliers again and I'm literally just going to leave enough room so we can do the same wrap on this end as we have done on that end. Bring that round into a right angle. If you always think about right angles when you're doing your rosary linking, then I'll pop in with my chain nose pliers and then we'll wrap round. Do exactly the same again, but this time instead of going ahead and wrapping our loop, I'm going to thread our first bead on and click that straight through so it sits inside. So we've now got that so we can come in with our chain nose pliers just underneath there and we can wrap round. What we can do now is thread on our clear quartz our coated quartz and our citrine and then coated quartz clear quartz and then we can create our wrap loop for the rest of that connection and that is the top half of our necklace. Okay so we're going to work on this section here and then we will pop to this section just here but we'll work on the um, nuggets. So what I've done with the nuggets I have gone ahead already and I've, create, I've created these two kind of ropes of our nuggets of the sunstone with the point four wire and then I've literally just done a wrap loop on each end. Okay, so I have now threaded on all of our nuggets and they're all the same length. So I'm just gonna do another wrap loop onto the end of here. 
just exactly the same as we did before and then just wrap that round a couple of times so we've now got three sections so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a jump ring and I'm going to make my jump rings with the point um, six just on here with my bell making pliers and I'll just take a small amount off bring in our bell making pliers and I'm going to go with the larger and I'm just going to coil the wire around the top here just around this mandrel just to create a few jump rings that we will be using and then I'm literally just going to cut at the end we're making some jump rings and then pop my jump ring open remember what I said before about opening jump rings opening it up north to south I'm going to thread on all three of our nuggets and making sure that's nice nicely closed as you can see we've got our jump ring on the top so literally just bringing the left over the centre, then that becomes the centre, the right over the centre, and then you're just going to create your plait this way, like so, until we get to this stage here, which we can then pop our other jump ring on. So now we've got our part here that is all nicely plaited. So now what we need to do is to connect the rosary linked section with the plaited section. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do that using our wax wide cone, the 1.25 uh, gauge wire, and um, we're just going to create a little connecting piece here. So I'll show you how to do that next. Now as you see here I've already made a cone already with the 1.25 wire and it's really nice because it's really really sturdy and as you can see there it kind of holds its shape very very well so that's what it looks like on a 360 so I'm going to show you how to create one of these now in order to make one of these we've got this wax Y cone here and um, I think this is the medium so I'm literally just going to take the 1.25 and as you can see here, we've got a little hole just at the top there. I'm going to pop that through. And this is really good because it, it literally just, I think this is probably the largest gauge that you can use on this, um, on this tool. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to let it have a little bit of a loop. So this is going to make it easier to get off when we finish. And then all you simply do is just coil your wire down the wax Y cone and then we'll just measure that up to make sure we're kind of getting I think one more and then they're about the same size and then come in and I'm just going to cut that away we'll move our wire and then you'll be able to see why I left this loop at the beginning and then you'll be able to see why we did that cut there we go and then pull that out to there and now you've got your wax y cone that we've just created so we'll just cut away from there and then i'm going to cut just inside here and with this kind of scratchy bit that we've got here i'm literally just going to move that inside the work so now we have got part of our connecting section we've created that loop now we're going to pop that onto our jump ring like so pop on your wax y cone mystic quartz And your clear quartz pop that on and then we are going to connect 
this to that with a wrap loop. And then we are going to attach this part, the rosary link to there, like so. Pop in with our chain nose pliers and we shall run that around. One, two, there we go. And then we are going to just pop in and give that a little chop like so. Take that off so I've got one part. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. So next what we're going to do is create the spiral. So to create the spiral we're going to take the 1.25 mil wire. I'm going to create a spiral using the smallest mandrel on my belt making pliers. And we're popping in just to create a nice loop like so and bring that round. Now obviously because this is a thicker wire it's going to take a little bit more um, kind of coaxing but it will stay in place. So I'm now just going to do a few rungs and you're just going to keep spiralling and coiling your wire until we then get to a point like so. And then with the hammer and block just pop that onto there and then if you want to you can just hammer that I obviously won't because it's going to create a lot of noise but then you can hammer that just to kind of give it a little bit of texture and then we'll bring in our necklace that we're just on the way to making and then I'm literally just going to create a loop and we will just hang that onto the centre of our necklace. So now that's sitting in the centre of our necklace and that is the necklace all made from start to finish. So I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Thank you so much for watching.